Uh, okay, uh, I will explain about how to uh, use search party lighting fixture file in your Rabbit model. So, uh, first we need to download a Rabbit file, an IS file from the manufacturer, and then we are going to use it in your Rabbit model. So first, uh, I will kind of I add a link for your conveniency. So go to Philips Lighting, and I go to Product and Luminaire Lighting Fixtures. And then just select whatever you like. Uh, and then I will select uh, linear. Uh, and then suspend it. It's just arbitrary. So, and I just guys click the first one. Okay, so there are many different types. And then uh, what I will do, uh, if you go to download, there are PDF file. If you go down further, there is IS file and BIM file. So my recommendation, download the BIM file then you can download the bin file, I already downloaded it. and then what you have to do is just unzip them it's 88 rabbit family uh, just unzip it and then move it to wherever you can uh, easily remember it so this one is 88 rabbit family okay so your rabbit uh, file is ready and uh, before you jump into uh, I'll go to tools and then uh, use calc calculation calc John just do some your initial uh, layout design and here actually I'm going to use MN the reason why I'm using MN is when I check about the rabbit file uh, so rabbit file does not have uh, this MD uh, IS file and I just kind of can easily find MNIS file so uh, you, this one is not a single process y you should check kind of it's a kind of multiple uh, repeated repetition process so um, actually, uh, again, uh, lighting is not a big industry, so actually it's not really perfect yet, so you have to go uh, back and forth. So, f I will going to use, but make sure that what is 88616H01MN, I will just take a, a look at about its specification shit, uh, quickly. So, this one is a suspended and direct and indirect light and using one T5 high output lamp. And in option wise, WPSMR means the Luber optic type, and NDGJU means the upper optic, meaning the how much download. Uh, and then also another one is one is actually one wiring, uh, so one uh, emergency battery, kind of different options on wiring. And voltage wise, meaning that one, two, three have uses different voltage types. And also it has th uh, three different color and finish options: standard, factory color, custom color. So so kind of those things. So this is something what you need to know. So what does it mean that uh, we are going to use uh, 01 MN means a suspended 1L long T5 high, high output direct indirect semi specular VDT looper. And MN means MN means M means semi specular VDT looper. N means actually none actually. So it's kind of like there's no uh, it's it, there's no upper optics level so this is what it is about so we download IS file we check about the specification sheet and we make sure that what is the options and then coming into Rabbit uh, okay so now let's start uh, using Rabbit uh, okay so this one is just simply the Rabbit's uh, sample project and what we have to do first is we need to create a reflected ceiling plan so to create one, we go to view and plan views and then create reflected ceiling plan and then just create whatever you want. So kind of actually I already created level one here. I just delete and then I just recreate. So go to plan view, reflected ceiling plan, select level one. If you click OK, then you are just created a, le a reflected ceiling plan of level one so this is how does it look like actually if you look, take a look at about level one actually there's a dining table and a kitchen area and a column in the middle so what we are going to do is some add additional lighting if you take a look at level two level one there's a linear lighting and here and here so let's kind of add more lighting some empty area <coughs> and also take a look at level one so it's just corridor so probably we may want to add some lighting somewhere in the middle here so go to level one oh, uh, reflected ceiling plan so the first step you have to do is you have to import the family file so go to insert and load a family and then go to the folder you download your rabbit file Akiba, 
And actually there is a H01, there are kind of five different types. What we are going to use is HH01. And it will open another window. And then it actually it asks you to select which uh, specific product you like to use. So <coughs> what is important here is actually the same, whether it uses the same IS file. So actually this one is the one, uh, MN is the one we are going to use it. So what this means is, is 16, uh, H01, MN, the same type. What does that mean? M means this one, uh, semi-specular, N, non. And then also 120 volt and EW means, uh, E means standard ballast, W means standard white. So this is one that what we are going to use it. So I select this one, also check that the IS file is using the same IS file and OK. And then your model is being upgraded. So wait a couple of uh, seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. Then if you go down this project browser, go to family. Then under family, you can, you can easily find lighting. And then now you see that there are uh, Philips, uh, probably there is uh, lighting Arkeva H01. This is what we import. And this is the model we actually selected. And all you have to do is simply uh, drag this one to your reflected ceiling plan. But as you see, the ceiling plan does not allow you to add lighting. The reason is because the, currently the default option is placed on vertical phase. We have to change it to place on phase. So now you can add this lighting. So I just add one. Uh, I strongly recommend, to, strongly recommend for you to add one at a time. Uh, whenever you add a new lighting fixture type so I add one and then let's check whether it is kind of added correctly so I'm going back to view and then I'll create a camera <coughs> and then I'll take a look at it to see how does it look like so now it is actually correctly added um, the reason why we check here is if you go back to level one some light if you and then if I select this lighting figure do you see this icon here this one is actually flip work plane some lighting probably is will be installed upward meaning that if I click this one once and then if I take a look at the view one more time the lighting is gone meaning that actually it's not gone it's kind of actually this one is installed upside of the ceiling plan and actually you will see you will probably meet this kind of cases a lot so in this if you see these cases so simply what you have to do uh, just click this one again and then click this one one more time then actually you can actually uh, see the correctly positioned lighting fixture so now after checking that whether the lighting fixture is installed correctly and not actually you can actually simply copy and paste array and okay, you can do a lot of different things using Kind of so you can you can design in a way that you saw it in Kark John. So this one is how to add lighting fixture, <coughs> and then you may want to render it. So I see view and also create a camera, and then probably you may change the location of camera and also the view angle a little bit wider. And then when you do that, I strongly recommend for you to do for you to render two things. So one thing when you render that, uh, I will set this lighting as interior artificial only to see the light, the effect of lighting. But actually, that may not so good. So pro but for the best rendering effect, I would recommend interior sun and artificial only. So I would recommend these two renderings. Okay, so uh, that's it for how to use. Uh, a third-party luminar uh, lighting fixture in Rabbit modeling.